After a 14-hour flight, Tzu Chi members from Taiwan arrived in Johannesburg, South Africa, and were warmly welcomed by Tzu Chi's local volunteers from six countries. The volunteers were as excited as if seeing family. What moved us the most was how much they missed the master, which we could feel from the way they treated us. Lin Jingxian, a representative of Tzu Chi Foundation, personally met with all the volunteers. When I asked what was their plan for the future, everyone's eyes lit up with determination, eager to embrace the realization of Tzu Chi's spirit and values here. No words can describe how deeply touched I was to see that. Tzu Chi members then traveled to Thembiza, a township north of Johannesburg, to visit a local rehab center. Upon arriving at the rehab center in Thembiza, Tzu Chi members heard people singing and dancing, a celebration for when someone meets their exercise targets. It's truly moving to see stroke survivors walking again and even becoming volunteers. Whether they were stroke survivors or diabetic amputees, Tzu Chi volunteers would accompany them during their daily exercises. Many who come here have suffered from strokes or cerebral palsy. At first, we conducted home visits, but as the number increased, we decided to centralize care. This place used to be a bakery owned by a local volunteer. Because of frequent power outages, she turned it into Tzu Chi's rehab center. She now bakes cookies at home and donates the proceeds to Tzu Chi. I said to Master, she stay until I come to Taiwan again and I meet with Master. The stronger her aspiration, the more it will connect with the Master. The seeds of love sown by Tzu Chi in South Africa have now blossomed and borne fruit. Dai TV reports.